Now ready. Yo, back. Check on him later. Say John out. Hey, let me in. Hey, Captain, did uh, Sarge make it back okay? I'm using the infirmary now. I think you'll make a full recovery. Thanks to you. Well, just doing my job, sir. Yes, sir. St. John out. Corporal St. John, we have a situation that I think you can help us with. Okay, sir. One of our soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster, in charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 corridor. Her squad was ambushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, that you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, big spender. Huh? Ah, okay. See ya, Corporal. Hey, Deke. That Corporal. Hey, Sergeant. Yep, I got just the tool for that. Okay. See ya, Corporal St. John. Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in. Sir, I'm at that location in the, uh, camp appears to be empty. Sergeant Foster's life is in your hands, Corporal. Don't let me down. Nope, sir. I'll find her. Ah! 
Awesome. Looks like just another day at the office. Got it. I swear. No, no, no. I see you running around. <laughs> Just another day at the office. No time, no time. That did it. Oh, I swear. How you doing, Serge? How's your day going so far? Oh, Jesus, Corporal. Thank you. It's going great. Just great. Do you need a lift back? You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, it's still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. I can get back on my own.
Colonel. Found Sergeant Foster. She's heading back now. Good work, Corporal. Thank you, sir. I'll, uh, I'll check back in later, see how she's doing. St. John out. Colonel, sir, reporting in. Yes? Corporal St. John, sir. I, I wanted to check to see how Sergeant Foster was doing. Foster. Yes. Yes. Uh, she'll be fine. Thank you, Corporal. The report contained high praise for your actions and bravery. You are to be commended. Well, thank you, sir. She's, um, she's a survivor. We're all survivors, aren't we? Yes, sir. St. John out. Take a look around. All right, where? Gotcha. Taylor. Huh. Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. 
I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Sarge. Corporal St. John. I beat. See you around. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Hey, don't be that way. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Deke. Corporal in command. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Hey, Deke. Uh, Corporal. Sarge.
Hey, you're not supposed to be here. My first one. How does it work? Corpus Saint John. Sergeant, how's it going? Everyone. Nothing. My stomach won't stop growling. No, right? Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Hi. You need something? Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You hey, sound what are you doing uh, cheerful. Here? Breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to okay. test it. Okay, very good. Deacon, I'm ready to test Double my two. serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Move along, buddy, move along. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid... newts. Okay. okay so to radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Hurry out. Oh, shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. Alright, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh... How am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Okay, <laughs> just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. You little shit! Oh, Jesus!
You want it alive, one? You get alive, one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. Yeah, we'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It... <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Right. Gary, yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. What you put in that? That shit went down fast. Oh, Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought. Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. 
And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years, but I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <sighs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How are you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir.
I figured that I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, and my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Right. I'm heading in. Good luck, Saint John. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. Locke's got nothing to do with it.
bitches. How's that fail, huh? St. John, get out of there. Sarah, are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John, reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of them? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. 
Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's... been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Please come. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm here, Kevin. 